Hello, this video is going to look at the price elasticity of demand. We're going to do a calculus problem, but we're going to have missing information on the price and quantity demanded. The market demand is given by the following equation. And here's our question. If the price elasticity of demand is minus 2, what is the price and quantity demanded? So here's our elasticity of demand formula. Uh, that has the first part here, it's just a derivative of the demand equation with respect to price, and we'll simply get back the coefficient on the price term, in this case minus 0 0.125, and then we have a price and quantity. So once again, the derivative of the demand equation is just a coefficient on the price term. And now plugging everything we know into the elasticity of demand formula, we know that the elasticity of demand is minus 2, so setting the, uh, the left-hand side to minus 2, plugging in for the derivative, minus 0 0.125, and then we have P divided by Q. We're going to solve this for P. First thing, we'll get rid of the two minus signs on both sides of the equation. And then we'll divide through by 0 0.125, and that gives us 16 on the right-hand side of the equation. And then multiplying through by Q, price equals 16Q. We're going to take this price equals 16Q, and where we see P in the demand equation, we're going to plug in 16Q. So making a substitution into the demand equation, and now solving this demand equation for Q. So simplifying a little on the right-hand side, adding 2Q to both sides of the equation, and now dividing through by 3, Q equals 20, and to get the price, we can just simply take this 20 and plug it into this equation up here for price, and doing that we get a price of $320. So when the price elasticity of demand is minus 2, the quantity demanded is 20, and the price per unit is $320. We can check our answer, so our demand equation we argued that the price was $320, the quantity is 20. So using our elasticity of demand formula, the derivative of the demand equation, we get the minus 0 0.125. The price is 320. Dividing that by 20, yes, this does indeed equal a minus 2 price elasticity of demand. And just to remember that this would be an example of elastic demand since ignoring the minus sign or an absolute value this coefficient here on the elasticity of demand exceeds 1, which would indicate a lower price would increase consumer spending and industry revenue. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.